In the ever-evolving world of finance and investments, there's a recent development that's caught the attention of many. Mitsubishi UFJ Kakusai Asset Management Company Limited has made a significant move in the stock market, and it's all centered around Stellantis. Curious about what this could mean for the stock's future? Let's dive in. Mitsubishi UFJ Kakusai Asset Management Company Limited has recently increased its stake in Stellantis by 2.3% during the first quarter. This information comes directly from their most recent Form 13F filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. By the end of this period, the institutional investor owned a whopping 228,174 shares of Stellantis, having acquired an additional 5,135 shares. The value of these holdings? A cool $4.15 million. But Mitsubishi UFJ isn't the only player showing interest. Several other hedge funds have also adjusted their stakes in Stellantis. Fifth Third Bancorp, for instance, amplified its position by an impressive 484.4% in the first quarter. Ridgewood Investments LLC entered the scene by acquiring a new stake in Stellantis, while Bessemer Group Incorporated and CWM LLC both significantly increased their positions. HHM Wealth Advisors LLC also made a notable move, boosting its holdings by 233.7% during the first quarter. It's evident that institutional investors and hedge funds see potential, as they now own 30.93% of the company's stock. Now, what does all this mean for Stellantis' stock price? When major institutional investors and hedge funds increase their stakes in a company, it often signals confidence in the company's future prospects. Their investments are typically based on in-depth research and analysis, suggesting a bullish outlook on the stock. The fact that multiple institutions are increasing their positions concurrently can be seen as a strong vote of confidence. This collective optimism could lead to a surge in buying activity, driving up the stock's value. Furthermore, Stellantis's stock performance provides some context. Despite opening at $18.41 on the recent Friday, it has seen lows of $11.57 and highs of $20.71 over the past year. The company's financial health is also noteworthy, with a quick ratio of 1.03, a current ratio of 1.29, and a debt-to-equity ratio of 0.26. These figures indicate a stable financial position, which can be attractive to investors. Recent analyst reports further bolstered the positive outlook. Bank of America upgraded Stellantis shares from a neutral to a buy rating. Jeffrey's Financial Group also raised their price target for Stellantis, while Citigroup shifted from a buy to a neutral rating. With a consensus rating of moderate buy and a target price of $22.15, the future looks promising for Stellantis. Now let's discuss the upcoming trading session surge signals for the stock on August 16, 2023. The surge signals upwards are $18.28, $18.43, $18.55, and downwards are $18.01, $17.89, cents. $17 but what do these numbers mean? Surge signals are price points that, when reached, could confirm a directional move for the stock. If the stock approaches or breaches the upward signals, it indicates a potential bullish trend meaning the stock price might continue to rise. Conversely, if it hits the downward signals, it suggests a potential bearish trend, where the stock price might decline. Given the recent positive news and increased institutional interest, if the stock approaches the upward surge signals, it could further confirm the bullish sentiment and potentially lead to a more significant price increase. However, if it approaches the downward signals, Investors should exercise caution as it might indicate a reversal or consolidation phase. That wraps up our deep dive into Stellantis and its recent developments. If you found this analysis insightful, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more updates, and share your thoughts on Stellantis's future in the comments below. Will it continue its upward trajectory, or are there challenges ahead? We'd love to hear from you.